Hi, my name is Jean Guillou. I am French, but I work in a research center in Luxembourg, the Centre de Recherche Publique Gabriel Lippmann. Our lab is also involved in the nanotubules project because we are specialized in elaboration and characterization of materials. Personally, I work in this lab for four years now, and the main part of my job is to perform analyses with electron spectroscopy techniques in order to determine um, the composition of the samples or to identify the atoms present in the materials, how they are bonded together, what are their interactions, and so on. As you know, the aim of the nano to hybrids project is to develop a new gas sensor using metal deposits and carbon nanotubes. Our lab will contribute in two ways in this project. First, the deposition of the metal or metal oxides on the nanotubes with an atmospheric plasma system. And we have to do this at a large scale. Secondly, the characterization of the deposits at the nanometer scale. And for this, we are equipped with different analytical techniques such as a NanoSIMS 50, electron spectroscopy techniques, an atomic force microscope, and a transmission electron microscope. This project is a great challenge for us because if we already have a good experience in materials analysis, we have never worked on carbon nanotubes. So it's an interesting opportunity to improve our knowledge and our know-how on such materials. This is the atmospheric plasma machine that we have for the moment in the lab. This system is devoted to surface treatment and is used to protect materials against corrosion or to modify their adhesion behavior or hydrophilic properties. This system is inefficient on carbon nanotubes because the size of the particles, less than 100 nanometers, is too small. That's why a new prototype is being built now in Germany. But the development of this instrument is a little bit late and we are not yet able to proceed to the first test with this machine. <laughs> The next meeting with all the partners involved in the nano hybrids project is scheduled next week in Barcelona. From the state of the art and from the results of our colleagues working on calculations and simulations, we should be able to definitely choose the metal or group of metal we want to deposit on the carbon nanotubes in order to develop this new benzene sensor. After this meeting, it will be truly for us the start of the experimental test.